I'm about to turn on this laptop. This is the Toshiba Satellite A200 and five so here we go I'm gonna turn it on um this laptop is definitely old but installing Windows 10 was a challenge actually getting the whole laptop to function again and um updating it because I add extra RAM into it so it could be more compatible with Windows 10 um preview so it's so it has three gigs of RAM all right. All right. So as we see, um, it boots up Windows really fast, even on an old computer. Uh, I had to pause it for a second because I didn't want my password and stuff being in this. So as we can see, it's running Windows pretty fast. Um, I'm going to turn the internet on. There we go. And let it boot itself up all the way. Um, I'm going to demonstrate more details about this in a second. I'm going to go to uh, control panel. because this is running a Intel CPU and go systems it's it actually has um, three gigs of RAM um, it's running Celeron processor um, so it's just a single core uh, laptop um, and the CPU is one point uh, 86 3 gigs of RAM so let's see how things operate um, I'm gonna do some tests right now I haven't gone on the internet or anything and the computer still finishing booting I'm gonna go to task management manager and show everybody the performance it's right now performing pretty low I've been experiencing some high peaks because um, I guess it's because the computer is on the power but this is more of a test of seeing how Windows can use how you can still install uh, uh, updated operating system into a older laptop because most people still got old laptops and they don't want to get rid of the hardware they just want to upgrade the software and what we're going to see is what pushes the hardware to its limit right now it peaks up every now and then the CPU right now it's not using much RAM um, I haven't really installed any other applications into this. This is just laptop, web browser, pretty much it. Oh, and I'm also going to go to um, the start menu. So let's go head on to that. Um, start menu pops up pretty fast, especially for a single core. Because I think the operating system is more um, developed for more powerful PCs. Um, I'm going to try to go to the App Store. It's the, I'm starting to hear the fan blowing a little bit more. And it's definitely starting to get warm, but it's still doing its thing. And we're just going to give it a moment. Um, we're going to go back to task management. Manager. I keep saying management. Manager. See how the CPU performance is. It's peaking. In fact, the CPU had jumped up to 99% usage. So. Let's get 
giving it all it's got and um, because it minimized itself let's see let's see what happened to it it's still highlighted on the bottom with a single core processor you definitely don't want to um, install a lot of um, have a lot of applications running in the same time it's telling me to refresh the page we are having a bad uh, bad days so, uh, I don't know what's going on it did work at one point and now it's not so alright well we're going to do some internet browsing tests internet explorer I'm not sure this is Spartan it kind of looks like it but I'm not exactly sure it's loading it guy was guilty for charges um, so as we can see it's able to go on Internet Explorer but I am having a hard time going up and down it says it's not responding Stop the driver script. Oh. It's crashing on me. But it's going to reload itself. Alright. Let's go to YouTube. And it's a weird mix of it's popping up um, the site, but all the um, pictures and stuff is having a hard time to come up. go to this one cat's behavior is one of my strangely favorites and see how it runs video since this is an old computer I doubt I'm going to be able to get um, HD video and we got some advertisement take another look at the um, usage as it's playing the video it's using a lot of CPU, it's not using much RAM I find that to be interesting but this is a Celeron um, CPU so Right now it's playing the video, but the quality is 144p. So let's see what it can do at 10. I mean 720p. It's probably really going to push it. Okay, it's still running smooth. We're going up. We're going to go. Hit and say 1080. Okay. All right. It's running. Well, it's choppy. Of course, this probably has a really old video card, so doing 1080 probably was a, a crazy idea anyway. Pretty sure it runs 720 a lot smoother. Let's try down grade it to 720. Let's 
the song. It's driving me nuts. Put it back to full screen. It's not let me go full screen. In fact, it's a little bit lagging as far as response time. I probably should be more patient now. It's just try to catch up to my um, cues when I try to make it full screen and it just stop itself. Your kitty cat could send you a message. What would your kitty cat say to you? Uh, Write it in a Christmas card. Put it in your stocking saying thank you for loving me. I love you too. Thank you for loving me. Love you too. Kitty cats, for the most part, it can run a 720. Let's try and get out of this cat mess. Wow. The CPU just jumped up to 99. It's not budging down. Let's see if I open what happens when I open another tab. And go to Google. Uh, try another website. IGN. Definitely making some noise. And the fans is definitely blowing. It's pretty much taking everything it, it it got just to run this. I think this is live stream, which is perfect because we really want to stress out the software as much as possible on an older uh, operating system. Uh, on an older computer. No, this Toshiba was released around 2008. It's about seven years old. So, this kind of give you a clue on what computers you probably would want to install this operating system on. So, if you want to install it in something that was uh, made in 2010, 11. You, it, I think it'll work pretty well. But anything past this, it's not going to function correctly unless you up the RAM and just pray a lot. Um, right now, I'm watching IGN guys. It's it's displaying the live stream video. And very low quality. It's, of course, this might not be a uh, software problem. This definitely is uh, hardware. The video card is pretty old, so 720 is probably the max that this can do. And you're going to see lag. And this is a pretty good nerdy game. IGN likes reviewing games that they like. It's still a little Unfinished, but as y'all can see, the on the older computer, it's going to definitely push 
the hardware and it's telling me I need to update the virus protector and stuff. I do like Windows Defender. Windows Defender actually do work now because they got so many tablets and stuff. They got really work on, you know, their virus protector on their own along with third party. But I'm kind of leaning towards Windows and doing it themselves. It's, it's not bad these days. All right, that ends my review. And make sure to subscribe on my YouTube and check out my website, informsinc.com.